Hey guys, welcome back to another segment about how to start a clothing label. My name is Stacy, and I own a brand called Votion. What Votion is, is everything you look at creates an, an emotion within you. It could be landscape, it could be clothing, shoes, art, anything in particular. Anything you look at creates an emotion within you. I like to think it as something like a visual emotion. And so I smashed the two words together and came up with the word Votion. So what I'm trying to start doing is starting to create a bit of a clothing label. And so what I want to teach you is about um, a bit of a journey along the way and all the different segments about what it takes to create a clothing label and today I'm going to talk to you about creating swing tags. So to create swing tags what I did is I, I looked at a bunch of different other brands and what kind of swing tags they do. I kind of like this one here that sort of flipped up from another label. I also liked sort of just a long a skinny sort of style from other labels as well and there's a bunch of different styles around so what I did is I played around with it. Um, I designed um, some different ideas in Adobe Illustrator now you can use Canva, but for me, I use Adobe Illustrator and, and Photoshop. And so what I started off doing was just creating like a, um, a summary of what it could potentially look like. And on the summary, it has the dimensions of what it is, the, um, the kind of text I'm gonna be using, and also the card thickness I'd like to use as well, and also including my logo of Votion. Come up with a different mock, few mock-ups. Um, one of the ones I liked, as I said before, is the flip style. The other sort of style, as I mentioned before, is like a thin style. I've seen a lot of different fashion brands do this simplistic, um, thin, um, longer length uh, swing tag, and I think it looks quite cool. But I might leave that one for later on. Um, got a few more collections coming out so I might sort of put that to the side and I started to lean, lean a lot more towards the flip style um, the swing tag so once I had the design all sorted what I wanted to do was I actually wanted to print it out so I can sort of see how it looks and what the actual size it would be um, I double-sided printed it and then just attached the two together and then folded them up and I can see exactly how it would look and the size and the dimensions and if I was happy with, with it um, I thought I'd rather do this than sending it to the printer and there'd be all that back and forward. I wanted to send the final artwork to the printer so we can get it underway quite quickly. So printing them out made it um, really beneficial so you get a good understanding of what it would look like. So that would be a tip from, from me would be to say is print them out and just sort of see what they would look like before you send all the artwork off to the printer. From there, what I then, I got the, um, the overview sheet, sent that off to the printer, but I didn't really know what kind of card I wanted. They had different kinds of card, types of card from the printers and I couldn't really tell online. It just was hard to see. So they sent me back a couple of mock-ups about what the final tag would look like, but I kind of wasn't too happy with it. The reason being it was like an off-white color. I really wanted a crisp white color. And also I just felt like the paper was kind of plain. Um, so then I went back to them and said, do you have any other um, ideas or any other suggestions in terms of what kind of card we could use? That was super great. They were really um, super helpful and they sent me through a bunch of different uh, types of cards, um, textures, colors, and things like that and that made it really helpful so maybe suggest that when you're dealing with your printer is get them to send like a different bunch of swatches of cards before you make your final decision. I have narrowed it down to really cool um, what I felt was the kind of texture that I wanted and also not a uh, sort of a nice white crisp color and then what they did is they sort of mocked it up so I can sort of see how it looks. One of my favorite things to do is when I get a new garment is popping the tag off and that's one of the quotes on here is popping tags that feeling when you get when you receive your new threads and right before you put them on you pop that tag off and pop and tag so um, I really wanted to put that on there and then also a little quote that says look good feel good I'm really stoked with how they've come out like I said I've got a black and a white option which I'll talk about later I finally received the uh, the final pieces from the printer so I'm just going to open those up and we can check them out together Super stoked how they've come out, exactly how I like them. It's got some really cool texture on them. Again, it's got my Votion logo on it. Flip it open and it says, everything you look at creates an emotion within you. It's like a visual emotion. We call it Votion. Um, and I talked about the popping tags before, look good, feel good. And then also our website and um, Instagram handle as well. So yeah, so super stoked. So next thing we'll do is attach them to the garment. And I'm gonna to talk to you about that right now as well. 
So as I mentioned before, one of my favorite things to do when I get a new garment is to pop that tag right off. Um, there was a couple of different ways that I could attach the, the label to the garment. One of those is a like a, a string with a, um, a clip and I thought you can't really pop those off, it's more about undoing the clip and if you're like anything like me, when you get a garment, you just want to quickly rip that off and then just get your garment, you put your garment on. But having to fiddle around with like a pin and having and a clip and um, just sort of makes it frustrating part. So what I thought is if I can just make the, the process simple by just getting a, an attachment that can actually just attach quite quickly to the garment, but also more importantly, take the swing tag off quickly as well. So what I did is I did a bit of shopping around and I got a, a longer plastic what do you call it, um, tag a tail it's called. Now there's different lengths, so there's like a 25 mil, a 50 mil and a 75 mil. And so what this one here is a 75 mil, I kind of like the length to it as well. If it was going in a hoodie or um, in a crew, it's I kind of like the length being a bit longer just so that you can actually see it hanging off the garment. Um, if it's on a t-shirt, it's probably a little bit different. You probably could go a shorter one, but for me, my personal preference is getting a longer 75 mil um, tagger. I preferred a clear one, but at, this, at the moment, there's, they're out of stock. So um, I've gone with a black um, on the white tag on the white um, ticket. So we'll see how that looks. The other thing you're going to need is an attacher. So this is what we call a tagging gun. What it does is there's a, uh, a big needle pin point there. You feed the, the tagger, the tagger tails in through here push it through the swing tag and then put it into the garment and then you pull the trigger and it attaches it. These can be picked up at anywhere like any apparel place or anywhere that sells also these um, tagger tails as well. They're pretty handy. You can even get them on Amazon or um, get them locally. I'm sure they're somewhere. I think they're around off the, off the top of my head, maybe about 20 bucks, 30 bucks, I think from, like I say, from memory. Um, these tagger tails were for a thousand piece of us were eight New Zealand dollars. So it's pretty good price. Um, but yeah, so kind of like the whole process of putting the swing tag, the tag tail, and also the tagger gun all together. So um, yeah, I'm really enjoying the process about how to create a, a clothing brand. Okay, cool. So now we've got our um, garment here. So this here is our Votion t-shirt, which can be found at votion.co.nz. The thing I love about this t-shirt, it's a heavier weighted t-shirt. It's a 220 GSM. Now most t-shirts are about a 180 GSM. Um, and it's a, so it's a nice heavier weighted tee. Um, if you're going for that oversized look, go for a size up. This here is an XL and I'm wearing an XL as well. So if you like that oversized look, which I kind of like, um, the baggier sort of fit, order a size up from what you'd usually do. Um, but if you like it sort of fitted, um, just order your normal size and it's true to size. So they're a really good length. You can still sort of see in the length in the sleeves as well. Um, but I kind of like the, just the weight of it as well. It's got a heat transfer print on it, which I did myself. Um, again, which I will, I will link into a video that um, I talked about how I created this logo and how I heat pressed it to the garment itself. So, um, what we're also going to do is a neck tag as our neck label. We're going to attach the, the swing tag to our neck, neck label, which I, again I ordered, uh, created myself as well. I really wanted to put those sort of um, just those touches onto it, so it's a flowing through from the swing tag to the neck label um, to when you see anything on social media, it all sort of flows together, and you'll be able to notice that when you get the garment and it talks to you about what the word Votion means. So, um, we've got our tagger gun. So here's our tagger gun. Um, here is our tagger attachments. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach that, just slide that down inside here like that, push that down, and there's going to be a needle there. What you want to do is get your, your swing tag, put it through the holes, and then we're going to attach it to the label like so. Push that through there, pull the trigger, pull it back, and pull that off. And there we have it. Pretty stoked, it looks good, eh? So, one of my favorite things to do, as I mentioned before, is popping those tags off. So, I can't wait for you to get yours to pop that tag off and get that feeling. Chuck your garment on and look good, feel good. <laughs>